let's go. Always stop to start the cameras. Never, never try and start the cameras while you're moving. It will end up badly. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'd like to talk about is my granddad. Uh, that's his stuff down in the seat. Now, my granddad died two weeks before I was born and I never got to see him. He was an interesting person though, a draftsman. He worked for Avro. Um, he worked for London Transport during the war. And it's okay, there's no one on this bit of road, you can do that. Um, he worked for London Transport during the war. In fact, what he actually did during the war is he worked a little bit on barrage balloons and then they recalled him because he was originally by trade a draftsman. They said, hey, we'd like you to draw bits for bombers. And he was like, okay, I will do that. And by the way, you're working for London Transport. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, and that was fun. But, uh, but dad, as an aside, uh, I was talking to Dad earlier in the week and he was saying, oh yeah, I bought a new razor. Apparently everyone up country is buying new old razors. The sort of razor that um, basically, let's go to Helston. Um, the sort of razor that you unscrew the handle and then you take an actual double bladed blade and you put it in and you screw it up and um, unlike the cartridge razors where you you put a, a cartridge in and it's blunt within a few minutes um, these things are a lot better a lot better for the environment apparently because um, there's less plastic in them um, it's just a metal a thin flexible metal blade uh, wrapped in waxed paper so uh, an interesting an interesting sort of step back. Now why do I mention the razors and my granddad? Well, uh, dad was saying that the razor blade that he bought is Wilkinson Sword and the first pay packet he had came from Wilkinson Sword because uh, he worked a summer job for a company called Graveners where my granddad worked. That's a uh, Golf Romeo Alpha India November Echo Romeo Sierra. Um, so Graveners, yeah. And um, they made, well, it's, I, I know they made FPE, so fire, pro pro fire prevention equipment or fire protection equipment. Um, if you go to the aircraft museum in Filton, in Bristol, you will see a Sycamore helicopter. And the helicopter has, in the cockpit, uh, in the museum, a couple of fire extinguishers, red fire extinguishers, it's red fire extinguishers with a green label on that says Graveners. Um, so yeah, that's what my granddad did. So Graveners was owned by the Wilkinson Sword Group. Now, 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 they did one other thing which is also at Filton uh, in Bristol. And that is, they made the fire wire that runs around the engine bays of Concorde. So Concorde has a wire that runs around the inside of the engine bay, and in the event of a fire, um, should the air crews not actually do anything about it, should they be unaware of one of their Olympus engines being on fire, the wire will burn through and automatically dump um, dump the FPE into the engine bay. So that's that's just a little thing. That's a little thing. But it's kind of interesting the the conversation between Dad and Wilkinson Sword and Graveners and, and my granddad. Um, yeah, he was a draftsman, so all that stuff on the seat is his. And that's basically all I have to go by. Um, that and Dad's description of him. And he says, yeah, you and, you and your granddad were very much alike. Um, you and your granddad were very much alike. You both have the same sort of personalities. You both are fairly anxious before an event. And I've got to say, yeah, I, I certainly have a lot of social anxiety. If you say, hey, let's go out. The first thing I'm gonna do is go, mm, I, I probably have something else to do that's kind of indoors or in my car or somewhere equally as safe. If you say, let's go out and you can photograph stuff, that's slightly different because I use the camera as a security blanket. Um, but once I'm out, once I'm with people or whatever, then um, yeah, things tend to be a lot easier. So um, apparently it was the same thing for him. If my grandmother was having people over, guests over, he would make himself busy, he would fret, he would be uncomfortable until the people were actually over and then 
he was okay with it. So it's kind of interesting that quite often dad, and in the past, my grandmother, who is also no longer with us, she did mention that um, me and my grandfather had a lot of similarities. Um, it's kind of interesting because you think, hey, you're a unique person. All of these things that you think and feel and do and say, they're unique until you start talking to other people and everyone else says, yeah, you know, we feel the same way as well or we have this personality trait as well. Or So it's, um, yeah, it's interesting. What's also interesting is that he was a draftsman and kind of by accident, I didn't go into the same field, but I kind of used a modernized version of his tools. So he's got pencils. Uh, he left a lot of pencils after he passed. Uh, there's pencils, there's rulers, there's set squares. There are, there are many things there to uh, draw analog and very, very detailed drawings of components. These days, I use Photoshop. Um, I use Photoshop and I use a Wacom Pro graphics tablet. Um, in fact, I use one at home and I use one at work. Uh, at work, I am an image editor, so I am a specialist image editor of that, um, which means if there is something that needs to be done to an image, I can do it. Um, there's very, very few times when something lands on my desk and someone says, can you do something to this? And I say, no, nah, I'm sorry, it's just too far gone. Most of the time, it's absolutely fine. So it's kind of weird that there are parallels between two people who have never met who are related, but uh, yeah, I just thought it was interesting. So, Hale, Hale? Where, where the heck are we heading towards? Hmm, we came from Leeds Town and now we're going to Helston. Okay, cool. Well, we're not going to Helston, I'm going to leave you guys here. So, if you like this, definitely leave a little like. Uh, if you do leave a little like, leave a subscribe, and if you do subscribe, click the little bell because I'd give you notifications when videos go live. And that's it.